Hey guys and thanks for watching. In this short video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Hike Micro Spotter. I'm using this particular unit, the GQ35L, but at the shooting show a few weeks back where the 50mm version was launched, there was a new firmware update available on this particular unit. So if like me you've got one of the models before, and this is me using the model here, um, shooting squirrels uh, and you want to get the latest features for the update which include a rangefinder now in yards rather than just in meters and a permanent scan mode rather than having to keep pushing the button as well as an increase in the contrast uh, availability on the unit to uh, actually sharpen up the picture then stay tuned and I'll show you how to do an update. Please check the video's description for a full list of compatible models from Hike Micro. Well, the first thing you need to make sure you've got is the correct app. So on your device, make sure that you download the Hike Micro site app. Once in the app, select your device from flicking left or right, and then hit Connect Device. When you're in there, you'll see that this useful little um, illustration at the top shows you that you need to activate the uh, Wi-Fi on the Griffin Spotter itself. So turn on the Spotter, go through the menus until you select Hotspot, which is your Wi-Fi, and then hit the M button to turn it on. Now on your phone's Wi-Fi settings, select the Hike Micro device from the available Wi-Fi networks. Note that the password you'll require for the device is actually the serial number. This can be found on the box for the device itself. As soon as it's connected, it will tell you you have no internet connection, of course, because it's a Wi-Fi only device. So go back into the app and you'll get this message asking if it's okay for you to, uh, or it's okay for the app to find Wi-Fi devices on your network. Now that you can hit the live view on the app and that should show you that the device is actually now connected to the app. This message may pop up uh, and I always just click use mobile data. Close it down so you're back onto the main screen and click on the me tab in the bottom right hand corner and then click the thermal camera at the top to open up this menu and this is where you can actually download uh, and update um, the actual firmware. Now it's giving you uh, a message telling you that the download failed because at the moment you're not connected to an internet network. So back on to your Wi-Fi settings and this time connects to your home router uh, and then simply go back onto that same page and try it again. Now we're connected to the internet, it will tell you that the new um, version is detectable and you want to click on download. That's now downloading that new firmware to the app. Once it's downloaded to that, we simply need to transfer it to the device itself. And this is where it's pretty much all automated from here, so it's pretty straightforward. Depending on your internet speed, um, the, vary, the time of the download or the length of time it takes to download um, will vary uh, probably considerably. So I've now flicked back on to the Hike device. The download has been completed. I'll click OK and actually now what happens is the device itself um, updates. So you click on update it. Update was successful um, and the device itself turns off, turns back on um, and then starts the update process. Once the update reaches 100%, after a few seconds the unit will turn off, turn back on again, and this time you should notice that there are a few additional extras to the internal menus. The rangefinder now has yards or meters, and also the rangefinder can be activated to come on just once or come on uh, as a continuous scanning mode, which is going to be really helpful when uh, potentially looking at multiple targets. It should be pretty obvious that you've got the latest version of firmware because there'll be some additional differences as I've just mentioned in your menu settings. But to be doubly sure, you can scroll to the version and just make sure that the version itself states the latest. 
currently that's 0.5.38. So now you've got the update on the spotter, what differences are you going to see? This scene here at the end of my drive, um, I filmed before the update and I wanted to see what the range finding capabilities uh, were like before and after. So I ping this car here by pressing and holding the range button and it pings the car at 62 meters. If I then want to range another target such as this vehicle on the right hand side of the road, after push and hold it, first of all it recalibrates the rangefinder and then it pings it again to give me the reading of 78 meters. Once you've updated, um, you can actually select it to go into continuous ranging mode whereby you just have to push it and hold it the once and it will ping the target for you and then you simply just move the um, crosshair or the little box over onto the next target and it will give you the range automatically which is very handy indeed and as you can see it gives it to you in yards as well as meters. One of the more subtle differences is uh, an increase in contrast capabilities. So you'll notice that these two side by side pictures, you can see the garbage bag and the road sign here on the new update are slightly more in focus and are more distinguishable. Now other things uh, that are different before the update, um, the recording uh, in the top left hand corner and the clock have both been changed so that on the new update it's a little bit more um, easier I suppose to see that you're recording because you actually get a nice red record button. The clock seconds have been reduced uh, to reduce uh, the amount of information you've got on screen and then if you so desire you can turn the Hike Micro logo on or off. Um, as well so um, one thing I did notice it's not been mentioned anywhere else but actually taking footage from the device onto the PC I found to be a little better as well so you're updated and ready to go please check this video's description for a full list of compatible models with this update any questions please ask away thanks for watching take care stay safe and as always happy shooting